Welcome back, everybody. This is Steve KM9G, and the patient has come back successfully from the operation, and everything is in working order, and a clean bill of health has been declared. So now we can go over, without embarrassing the family in any way, shape, or form, what the what the guts look like on this thing. So I took some pictures. I put them in the GitHub repo. There is a link in the description down below where you can find these pictures. And then a couple of friends over on the Toads Discord looked at these pictures, and we all started talking about them. And somebody took some time, which I thought was pretty amazing, to put together... Uh, these photos for us to all share. So I took the pictures, we did the dissection. The Toad's Discord user that put this together goes by the name of Oki Waffy. Hope I got that right. So thank you very much for taking the time to draw all this out and get everything squared away. We've got in the upper left-hand corner here a uh, breakdown of the left side of the radio where you will see the antenna connector. Where are we? You'll see the antenna connector. And you will see, you know what? I need to grab my radio. Hang on. All right, now I've got my radio. You'll see the antenna connector and you will see the IQ out connector as well as the power connector up here. And then down here, you will see all of the front panel display controls and everything. And these, these break out into these different boards. Inside of the radio, we were able to find a low pass filter, antenna tuner, a baseband board, a display unit and the other side of the display unit houses the the main brain of this machine. Let's take a look at the next page. Too many pages, too fast. All right, so this is what you see behind the front panel of the radio. So you see the, the front panel of the radio there and then behind the front panel of the radio, you will see the speaker behind the speaker grill, this array of soft touch buttons, the LED over here and then this extra wire here goes to the back side of the LED. We'll show you where it goes on the other side of the board in a minute. This is an off the shelf all winner SBC drop in chip and it is the the system on a chip the brain the big guts of it. So you'll see the the processor here and then the uh EMMC the internal storage device that looks like a a hard disk as far as the computer is concerned. Let's see what's on the next page. All right, in here we have a couple of different parts. This is the back side of the display board. We have a CM108B, which is a USB audio chip. We have a GL850G, which is a USB 2.0 low power hub controller. We have an FST3253 dual four to one bus switch right here. And then we have the CH342F, which controls the serial ports that you find built into the unit. Over here on this side is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip. It is a Realtek R8723BT1, and it does USB 2.0, 2.4 gigahertz, 802.11, and Bluetooth version 2.1. And then these two little chips right here are actually the antennas. You can see they pop out of the uh, Wi-Fi chip, and this, this chip right here is a what they call a dev board that then sits right back down onto the main circuit board. Um, on the side of the radio, you will see right here, it's going to be a little interesting to see in the light, but that, there's a little bit of a sticker there. Behind that sticker is where those Wi-Fi antennas are. So there is a little bit of room for it to escape. In my location, in my QTH, my antenna access panel sticker cover thing is off on one side, and my Wi-Fi router itself is all the way on the other side of the house. So I have trouble getting connected to my Wi-Fi router with this thing, but uh, that could just be the way things are. What's next? All right, this is <laughs> missing parts. I like that. We just, we haven't identified what these parts here are yet. Uh, let's see, let's go back up real quick one more time because I forgot to tell you, this wire here is that bodge wire that goes to the back of the LED. And that's for the, the color indicator, I believe. So you'll get your battery charging off that LED. You'll get your power on off the LED and you'll also turn red when it's transmitting. All right, so on the next one, we have a couple of big chips on here and a couple of small chips on here, and then some stuff that's underneath of shields. This spot right here was underneath the shield. This shield was fairly easy to remove. It's just clipped in place. This shield here was actually soldered in place and I desoldered that, so we should see another picture of that coming up. We have the uh, STM32 chip here, which we believe is running the the audio functions. We have the real-time clock battery here. These pins we think go to 
the STM for programming or some type of serial device. Under here we have a clock generator chip and there's a really long part number there. I'll let you guys read that. Uh, what else do we have? This, this area here should be a DC to DC step down chip. And that's another uh, prototype board that is then put on top of this. The PCA9535 16-bit I2C bus and SMB, SM bus low power IO port is in this chip. And then we have a silicon MOSFET power trans Resistor. It's a little small for me to read on that screen. Hopefully you guys can see it better. Uh, 175 megahertz, 527 megahertz, 870 megahertz, 7 watts. So that's the, the transverter chip, transistor chip there. And then we have the AFT05MS031NR1, which is your wideband RF power transistor. So these would be your uh, your what they would consider your final output transistors. And on the other side of this board, there is a pretty large heat sink that helps with this. And in the, where is it? I'm looking for it. I don't know if it's on this slide or not. It might not be on this slide. There's another um, transistor on here that attaches through a one of those 3M gray pads, self-adhesive thermal transfer pads. To the other side of the board if you happen to know what these two parts are here you can find higher resolution versions of these photos on the github repo that is linked down below join us on toads discord tell us all about it and we will post some updates for you Let's see what the next page has in store for us okay yeah so here is that big transistor i was telling you about the reason i couldn't find it is because there's only three pins sticking through on the front side of the board might be those three pins yeah and there's an extra antenna port here that isn't connected to anything. I pointed that out in the teardown video. So back to this side. This is the other side of the final output transistors. We've got a bandpass filter here. We have a mixer here. We have a codec here, and the codec has a couple of chips on it. Again, we've got a, an unidentified part there. This one in the middle is PCM1789. It's a 24-bit, 192 kilohertz stereo audio digital to analog converter. And then this TLV320A... IC3204 is an ultra low power stereo audio codec. And then this connector over here is your microphone connector. And that makes this one here your IQ out connector still. What else do we have? All right, this is the uh, the tuner board. This is obviously, you can tell by looking at this, but this comes on a separate board inside of the radio. We've got a low pass filter and an antenna tuning unit in this side of the board here and it looks like they might have done some tuning with these spreading out the windings on the toroids and then put some hot snot on them to keep them in place so they don't move around on you which is a pretty good idea and that's the last picture that we have for you there is a video right over here that i think you will enjoy next otherwise join us on the toads discord and we will continue to talk about this take a look at the github repository down below for links to these pictures and added firmware goodies and other fun stuff as we discover it. Thanks for being awesome. We'll see you in the next one.